Hi there. This is Lawrence Simon, a technical writer on the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. I'm here to tell you about the email accounts interface. To send and receive email, you need an email account. cPanel makes it easy to set up and manage email accounts. This video tutorial will show you how to manage existing email accounts on cPanel. If you would like to see how to create an email account, we demonstrate that process in another video. Let's go ahead and log in to cPanel. Here we are in the cPanel home interface. Let's scroll down to the email group and then click the email accounts icon. The email accounts interface will appear. The counter at the top of the interface says that we have eight accounts and this account sales package has a quota of 25 accounts. This table lists the email accounts on this cPanel account. You can search for an email account with this search bar. Just enter what you want to search for. I'll go ahead and clear the search bar. You can use these filters to search for restricted accounts, the default account, accounts over their storage limit, or show all accounts. This pagination tool lets you flip through pages of accounts. Click this gear icon to set how many accounts will appear on a page. Oh, and you can sort the table by clicking on one of these headers. Let's look at an entry in this table. The more icon here lets you see more details, if any exist. To delete an email account, click this delete button. And then click delete to permanently delete the email account. But I think I'll cancel that. Let me close up the details of this account. You can select multiple accounts with these checkboxes and mass delete them with this delete button. Once again, I'm going to cancel. Let me click this checkbox up here to deselect all the accounts. You can click check email to open the email account in webmail. We'll go over webmail in another video, okay? You can also get information about how to connect a device or client to this email account, but we'll go over those options in a little bit. Instead, let's manage the details of this account. Click Manage. The Manage an Email Account interface will appear. We see the email account name at the top, and you can check email from this link. Let's say the user forgot their email password. We can set up a new password for them. Enter the password in the password text box. What did you type in there? Click the eyeball button to reveal the password. Oh my god, you can see my password. I'd better hide it again. The strength bar indicates the relative strength of the password that you entered. You can also click Generate to have the system generate a strong password for you. Click the down arrow to configure other options for this password. Minimum password length, uppercase letters, numbers, and symbols. To change an email account's mailbox quota, enter a new amount in the allocated storage space text box or select Unlimited. This is useful for when a user's mailbox is near its quota and you want to give them more storage space. To suspend an account, use the options under the Restricted section. Then, select how you want to suspend the account, whether they can log in, receive email, or send email. The difference between suspend and hold is that suspend does not allow the account to send any emails at all while hold allows the user to send the email to the server but holds those messages in a queue until you unsuspend the account. If you want to make more changes to the account after you update it, select this Stay on this page after I click Update Email Settings checkbox. We'll do that because I've got more to show you here. Anyway, let's click Update Email Settings. A success message will appear and the account has been updated. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you before, the, the sidebar. It has lots of useful links. 
let's look at free up mail storage. This brings up the email disk usage interface. You can look for anything using up a lot of space in your account to get back under quota. Darn those cat videos. We'll go over this interface in another video, okay? Then there's the Manage Email Filters option. This lets you create rules on your account to automatically route messages to a particular folder or delete them. I'll route anything with CAD video on the subject to my CAD video folder. However, once again, we'll go over this interface in detail in another video. Then there's Set Automated Responses. This option lets you create an automatic response to an incoming message. It's useful for vacation notices or to tell people to stop sending you CAD videos. Once again, we'll go over this interface in detail in another video. To connect a mail client to your computer, tablet, or other mobile device, click Connect Devices. If you click any of these, your browser will download a script that you can click to configure your mail client for the account. If you do not see your mail client on this list, or you wish to set up your mail client manually, scroll down to the Mail Client Manual Settings section. It may help to understand a few terms that you see on this page. POP3 downloads your email to your computer. IMAP keeps your email stored on the server. And SSL is an encryption method that secures connections to the email server. OK, let's go back to the interface. Enter these settings into your email client during the setup process. You can also mail these instructions to an email account. Enter the email account and click Send. Let's go back to that Manage an Email Account interface. You can also manage the external authentication options for the interface with the Manage External Authentication link. External authentication allows you to use services such as cPanel ID or Google to log in to your server. But let's go back to the email accounts interface. Whew, so about that default email account. As I said earlier, this is the account which receives email when the sender didn't route it to a mailbox that exists. Also, the default email address controls the shared address book for this cPanel account. Your domain's email accounts can use this shared address book for collaboration purposes. Set the toggle to on or off. You can access the account by webmail or manage the disk usage of that account. Finally, you can also manage the routing options for the default address with the default address interface in cPanel. Click Manage Default Address to go there. But once again, we'll go over that in another video, okay? I'll put links to the documentation in the description of this video. For more information about cPanel, the hosting platform of choice, go to cPanel.com. Or follow us on Twitter. Our username there is at cPanel. Let us know if you found this video helpful. Leave a comment, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this one. Thank you for watching, and enjoy!